everyone, it's uh, Brett again, the Lion Hearts 84, still really windy, it's uh, 10 to 8 at night and uh, the wind's really blowing, which isn't doing the tropicals much good. Um, well after the relatively unpleasant, well, unpleasant experience of trying the Gerian, although I've got seeds out of it, I think the fruit had, uh, well, had started to go off. I mean I know Gerians don't have a very nice uh, smell particularly a nice taste to them, it's probably an acquired taste but as I've never had a fresh one out in the Far East I don't know but I thought I'd try cutting open the uh, the Yeti Moya. This isn't a Cherry Moya, this is the one with a sort of a knobbly bumpy skin, this one's an Yeti Moya. It's another one of the custard apple family, um, they're called sugar apples as well. Um, but I think this one is uh, normally known as an Atin Moya or a custard apple. So I thought we'd cut this open and see if this is as disastrous as the uh, Durian. Ah, well that looks a lot more promising. That's a nice sort of, um, it's a nice cream colour. You take the stalk out of the middle, you don't eat this bit of the stalk and obviously you don't eat the skin. Definitely an improvement on the jury. Now, of course, these have seeds in these, which is why it's Don't eat the seeds on these, the seeds are I'm pretty sure I remember the seeds being poisonous, but this seems to have a lot less seeds in it than uh, the cherry moyers that I normally buy over here which is a smooth skin one. I'm not sure they're called custard apples because I think they're supposed to taste like uh, custard with an apple hint, hint of apple on it. I quite like custard apples, they're not my favourite tropical fruit. Some people absolutely rant and rave about them but again I think it's the usual problem. I think if you get one fresh off the tree when it's ripe and sweet it's probably absolutely amazing to eat uh, when you get them. These were probably even picked like, this could have been picked two or three weeks ago by the time they've been shipped from uh, South America or it might be from Africa. Probably from South America or the Far East. But nevertheless, this this isn't this is quite a nice one. It's not um, nice cream colour still inside. It's not discoloured. Excuse me, being rude, to use my fingers, but I can't eat the seeds, so I don't want to spit them out on camera. I'll only try. Probably only shot about half a dozen seeds. I've got loads of cherry moyers growing, so I don't need loads of custard apples. But I thought it'd just be interesting to taste some of what it tastes like. Quite pleasant. I haven't actually had dinner yet, so I thought we'd have some fruit first. But quite soft if you haven't had one. Worth trying to get hold of a custard apple. As I said, it's um, some people absolutely s rant and rave about them. I find them quite pleasant, but I, I guess having never had a fresh one off the tree, I'm never going to quite know <coughs> just how good they can be. Don't live in a hot enough climate to grow them. I've got some here, which I obviously will bring inside in winter, but it's unlike they'll ever fruit over here, even if they get a few flowers, because we just won't get a long enough warm season without a greenhouse. Anyway, that's my um, that's my Atimoya tasting. So one of the custard apple family. Thanks for watching. It was just a short taste of video. I've, I've had the fruit, got the seeds. So um, back to normal videos probably next week. Uh, I've got a couple of fruits to try. I've still got some pineapple guavas, uh, a couple of pineapple guavas to try. And then I think that's uh, 
Hope you found it for the exotic fruit for the time being. Anyway, thanks for watching. You're welcome to uh, welcome to like. So our glasses keep falling. They're falling down at one time. Welcome to like. Um, share the video if you want. Welcome to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, we'll be featuring plants in the next video, I should imagine. And um, hit the bell if you'd like to get future notifications. Spread out for now. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video.